Yeah, so guys, welcome back again to our channel. If you are new here, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So, I was asked this question by one of our subscribers. That what do Nigerian ladies do in Dubai? It is a very, very good question. One of the things they do is they work very hard and legitimately. You understand? Some of them work as housemaid. Some of them work as housekeeper. You understand? Some of them work as office girl. You understand? Some of them work as sales girl, especially some in Crocs, Transguard, and ETC. You understand? Some of them work as cleaners. You understand? Very hard and legitimate, hardcore workers. You understand? On the other side, some of them prostitute. You understand? You can see some of them on the streets. You see some of them in Shaja. You understand? Some of them in Shaja, um, like you will see them 12 blocks away. You will see them 20 blocks away. You understand? If you are being charger, you will know what I'm talking about. They will stand, this one will stand, this one will stand, this one will stand, and they will stand for up to 20 blocks away. You understand? You will see them there, especially close to Hotel Dera. You will see them plenty with Filipinos. You will see them with other nationalities, Filipinos, uh, Indians, Pakistanis, different nationalities. You will see them there. You see them, both the fat, the thin, the slim, the lender, the sick, the sickly. You understand? You see them standing, gossiping. You understand? Some of them, you see them smoking. You understand? You see them rough. You understand? You see them scanty with their uh, private showing. You understand? When they see the police, they will run, they will hide, they will enter corners. You understand? That is what some of them do in Dubai. You understand? Another thing they do is they make arrangements with Nigerian boys also. Nigerian bad boys, you know? This is how they do it. The Nigerian boys will spread all these cards about massage, about sex, having massaging your body. They will massage your body for certain fees. You understand? And uh, when one of these Emirati or Egyptian or Moroccan picks this card and calls the number on the card, the person on the other side will call him and tell him, uh, come to so-so-so and so hotel. This is where you can get your services done. You understand? So the person will go to that so-so-so hotel, will go to that so-so-so room. You understand? Once the person gets there, the boys, they can be like three, three of them. They will be in the bedroom. You understand? Mostly in the bedroom. They will be in the bedroom. You understand? Not under the bed. They will be in the bedroom. Then the girl will be in the room. You understand? The girl would have collected her money from the guy. It can be 100 dirhams. It can be 50 dirhams. She would have collected her money from the guy first. You understand? So once she collects the money from the guy, she will start touching him. Start touching him. You understand? Make his body to do okay. You understand? By that time, you have already stripped his clothes. You understand? So once you are strip is clued, that is when she will make a noise. She or she will talk something in a local language, say, a wow or bia. You understand? You just say something in a, a, in a language. So the boys will come out from the bedroom. And once they come out from the bedroom, they will hold the man, they will hold the phone and start uh, videoing the phone, start videoing the man. You understand? Say, one of them can say, ah, so you are sleeping with my wife. So if the person is an Emirati, they will say, so you are sleeping with my wife. So you are sleeping with my wife. Uh, I will report it to the authorities. So the man will start begging, say, please, no, no, no. It's not like that. I will give you anything. Some of them, if if the man is very strong and very daring, you understand, they can beat him up and collect his eating and collect his uh, money. You understand? But if the man is begging, they will tell him to give him money, to give them money and all of that. Even if you give them money, he will collect all his money, all the money they see, his phone or anything, they will collect everything. You understand? And leave him there and go. You understand? Even during the process of the, them... Um, interrogating the man uh, harassing the man the girl would have left you understand so they make arrangements with these guys you understand they don't hustle you understand they can sleep in bed space some of them don't have anywhere to sleep unfortunately instead of them to sleep on the street you understand they can meet a guy that has a work or a job you understand doing that has emirate id then they will tell him uh, they need somewhere to sleep they will be giving him sex and all of that you understand so the guy will it's just like an arranged marriage in Dubai. This is what they always do. So the guy will accommodate them in a bed space. And mind you, this bed space has like 10 occupants in a room. You understand? It's just demarcated by cotton. You understand? It's just like a boarding house. You understand? Boarding house with a cotton covered a, a bunk. A cotton covers a bunk. You understand? So the guy will just be there. They'll be sleeping together. You know, in the morning, the guy will go to work. The guy is being, any girl that you see in a bed space sleeping with a man, she's being referred to as a landlady. The bed is called landed property. You understand? They don't look for a job. The boy is the one hustling the money, giving them money, buying them clothes. You understand? Instead of, instead of him sending money to his parents, to his wife, you understand? He will be buying them clothes. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter if he's married before he has children in Nigeria. 
You understand? That is what they always do. You understand? They will say, but you know, be firewood. So you'll be buying their clothes. So they'll be fighting. Some of them, if somebody did not clean the sink in the kitchen, because the kitchen is a general kitchen, some of them did not, somebody did not clean the sink in the kitchen. Uh, the one of the girl will just come and shout, shout. We did not clean the sink in the kitchen. I will tell my husband for you. I will tell, and this person is not your husband. This person is someone that you're squatting with. You understand? This person is someone that you're just doing arranging with. You understand? So that is what some of them do. They don't have target. They don't have him. They, they just focus on that and they believe that it is something that will last forever. Meanwhile, it will not last forever. You understand? Once the boy is get, is tired or when his uh, company changes his, his accommodation, he moves. You understand? He gets left stranded again and she looks for another person that will accommodate her again just for a place to sleep. She just needs a place to sleep. And meanwhile, she's telling her body in that process. You understand? Not only Nigerian girls, Uganda girls are always f- fond of that. Kenya girls are always fond of that. Some of them always do, mostly African girls, they always do these things. You understand? So, these are some of the things they always do in Dubai. You understand? When they enter overstay, because most of them are even on, on overstay. When they enter overstay, when the immigration or when the police gets hold of them, you understand? they deport them, they send them to Uganda, send them back to Nigeria, send them back to Kenya. You understand? They go back home with nothing. They don't have anything to go back home to show with. You understand? They start regretting. Some of them will start calling the boy in Dubai. The boy will start ignoring their call or blocks their number. You understand? Because the matter don't finish now. They don't have anything to do. You're not here in Dubai. You're not here. In, you understand? They don't have anything to do again. You understand? So that is what some of them always do in Dubai. You understand? If a lady tells an average man she has been to Italy, if a lady tells an average man she has been to Dubai before, what do you think the average man will say or think in his mind? You as a man, what do you think if a lady tells you she has been to Italy before, she stays in Italy for two years, even if she tells you she went to Italy as a reverend sister, what do you think in your mind? You understand? So you have to be very careful when you hear or a lady tells you uh, she has been to Dubai before, you do your due research. You understand? I really respect my sister, my younger sister, you know. I really respect my younger sister. She had the opportunity of going to Dubai on a platter of gold, you know sponsored you know but she refused my younger sister totally refused i was like you can go there your friend is there now you can go there and hustle and you know she refused she totally refused she told me categorically to my face that if she gets a legit job in dubai she would never go i really respect my sister please uh you guys should like clap for my younger sister please you understand i really really respect my sister you know so that is what some of them usually do in dubai you understand you see them lined up on the streets you see them making plans you understand making plans against other nationalities you understand don't be envious of what you see on social media you understand they just post picture on social media with nice canvas nice shoes you understand they just post picture of them in beaches in jumeirah beach you understand they just post picture of them on bra in jumeirah beach don't be fooled and don't be jealous or don't be envious of what you see on social media. You understand? 95% of them, that is what they do. You know, because I know some legit hardworking ladies like uh, Dubai, uh, black girl, like uh, Miss Annie, you know, like a um, couple of them I know. I know a couple of them in Dubai that are working hard. You understand? That are hard workers in Dubai. You understand? So that is what I just want to tell you what Nigerian ladies do in Dubai, what Nigerian ladies do in UAE what Nigerian ladies do in United Arab Emirates. This also applies to Bahrain, Oman, Lebanon, Jordan. You understand? They refuse to work as housemaid. They don't want to work as housemaid. If you give them housemaid job, they will refuse. Housemaid job of 1,000 dirhams with accommodation just to be taking care of the Emirati children, just to be taking care of the Iranian children. You understand? They will refuse. They will see it as slave work. They prefer the work on the streets. You understand? They prefer prostitution to work in legitimately any 1,000 dirhams. You understand? I respect some of our Ugandan ladies. They work very hard. Our Ugandan ladies, they work very hard. They don't mind the salary as far as it is a job. You understand? I, you know, some of them will look at uh, dirhams. If you change it to Nera, it's low compared to if you change it to Ugandan shillings. It doesn't matter as far as it is legit. You understand? That is what some of them don't know. So this is what I just want to tell you. If you find it very helpful, if you love what I just said, if you love this content, click the like button. Thank you and God bless you. I will see you in the next one.